Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how you can easily install and play Overwatch 2 on Linux. So much like on Windows, there's currently two places where you can download and install this game from. So the first place you can download and play this game from is the Blizzard Battle.net application. Or more recently, you can now actually get the game through Steam. However, since the game itself is free, then it doesn't really matter where you choose to play the game from, although personally my preference is to play it through Steam. That being said, in this particular video, I am going to be covering both options, but first, let's make sure that your system is up to date and it's running the most recent graphic driver for your particular hardware. So when it comes to driver installation on Linux, then the installation method will differ slightly depending on whether you're using Nvidia or AMD hardware. In most cases, when it comes to Nvidia hardware, you'll need to install this driver separately. However, you'll find that nowadays, most Linux distributions will come with some form of GUI tool to streamline the process. AMD, on the other hand, typically has drivers pre-installed, although if you're using a more conservative distribution such as Ubuntu, then you may need to add what's known as a PPA in order to get the latest drivers. In either case, a fantastic resource for GPU drive installation is the Installing Drivers page of the Lutris Wiki, as that covers the installation of NVIDIA and AMD hardware on Linux distributions such as Ubuntu, Arch Linux, Manjaro, Fedora and OpenSUSE. And all you need to do is follow the section that's relevant to your hardware installation and then reboot the system to finish the process. So now that we've confirmed that the latest GPU driver is installed for your particular setup, we can move on to installing and actually playing the game. So the first method we're going to be covering is if you want to play the game through Blizzard's Battle.net. And to achieve this, we're going to use a piece of software called Lutris. And you can think of Lutris as a universal launcher for many game services outside the Steam ecosystem. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Battle.net using Lutris and then run the game using a compatibility layer called Wine, which we will need to install separately. So once again, the Lutris Wiki comes to the rescue, specifically the Wine Dependencies page, which covers installing Wine, as well as any additional dependencies that Battle.net may require. And the page covers installation on Fedora, Ubuntu and Arch based distributions. Once again, all you need to do is follow the section that's relevant to your installation, and then once one's installed, we can now move on to install Lutris itself. Now you can install Lutris on almost any Linux distribution. For example, if you have a Ubuntu based distribution, then the way you'd install it is to download and run the latest dev file, and that's available on their GitHub page. Alternatively, if you're running an Arch based system, you just simply install it using a terminal command. In either case, find your Linux distribution on the list, follow the recommended installation method, and then once Lutris is installed, launch the application as you normally would do. Now in my case, I've already used Lutris to install Battle.net ahead of time, but I will still show you how to install it from scratch. The first thing you need to do is click on the plus symbol at the top left, choose the option here where it says search the Lutris website for installers, and then type the word battle.net and then enter. It normally brings up two options, but we're going to go with this one here at the top where it says blizzard battle.net. From here, it's really a matter of all the instructions. So we'll click install now. This is just going to specify where we want to install it. Uh, we'll click continue. And this will just show you where you're going to download the battle.net installation package from. Again, we'll click install on that. Now, if it's the first time you're installing Battle.net, it's very likely you'll be asked to install what's known as a Wine Mono. So when you get that thing pop up, do click yes at that point. Also, at some point during the installation, you'll see this login screen here. Uh, you want to click X on this point, as we're going to sign into the account shortly after. Once the installation process is finished, we're going to click close. Again, I've got two because I've already installed it. But at this point, it's really a matter of just clicking play to launch the application. And when we get the prompt, we'll sign in using our details. So as you can see, the application has just sorted itself out now. So we can click X on that just to tell you what the latest patch has been installed. And functionality wise, as you can see, it just runs just as well as it does on Windows. So that covers the first method. So the second method for playing Overwatch 2 on Linux is to use Steam to install the game and then play the game itself using the Proton compatibility layer, which is what powers the Steam Deck. And much like Lutris, Steam can be installed on almost any Linux distribution but again, the installation method may differ. For example, since I use Endeavor OS, which is based on Arch Linux, then I'll be installing Steam using the terminal, 
However, if you have a Ubuntu-based distribution, you can simply download and run the installation package from Steam's website. In either case, once you've installed Steam, launch it for the first time, and there's always an update to apply, and then sign into your account. Once Steam's launched, what we need to do next is enable Steam Proton. And the way you do that is you navigate to the Steam menu at the top left, go to Settings, and then under this section here where it says Compatibility, just make sure that you've toggled both Enable Steam Play for supported titles, as well as Enable Steam Play for all other titles. Now by default, that will select Proton Experimental as the option as the default version of Proton, which I'd probably say in about 99% of cases is the one you want to be using. So to apply all these settings, close down the window, and then restart Steam. From this point, it's really just a matter of downloading and installing the game as normal. You click the big install button, and once the process is finished, launch the game as normal by clicking the play button. Now, just something to bear in mind, on my first launch, it did actually prompt me to associate my Blizzard account, which I found incredibly easy to do as they provide you a QR code. So literally scan that on your smartphone and then follow the instructions from there. Okay, so let's launch Oblodge 2 and we'll just check out what the performance is like on Linux and also show you how terribly bad I am at competitive shooters. So as you saw, the game runs really, really well. And with that, you now know how to install and play Overwatch 2 on Linux. So in conclusion, Overwatch 2 is yet another game that works out of the box on Linux. And with the announcement that more Blizzard games will be coming to Steam soon, then I personally believe that gaming on Linux has never been easier. As always, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. And if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video so everyone else knows about it. And if you haven't already, Click that subscribe button to see more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now.